Hello friends, this is Abril. I'm coming here today uh, to share a Dollar Tree haul with you. Um, it, it was um, several trips, not all on the same trip. And uh, the first thing I found is this uh, wall hanging. Um, it says Believe in the Magic. And um, it had a purple tassel here that I have misplaced. It fell off. See how the, the threading is right there? But, um, I might alter this so it's okay that, um, I can't find it. Um, but, um, yeah, I thought that was really cool. I've been looking for this, so, um, um, I'm glad I found it. And then I found this little notebook in the school supplies, and it's a pretty chunky one. It was really cool. And this one says sparkle and the unicorn has shades on. And uh, I also found these, but I only bought this one. And then this is Believe Dream. And it's those magnetic um, pocket pouches thingies. And I thought that was really cool. Um, I only like this one. I did see that one. I think they were all there. I just picked this one up. I also found uh, this 2019 calendar and I thought I really liked it. I like the on the bottom here it says sparkle every day but the glare is really bad. I don't think you'll be able to see it. But um yeah and then I found these furry arts but look at what it is a unicorn and then the back is a uh... oh I didn't even notice that it's a dress form you could see that and then like a Paris uh, what is that the Eiffel Tower right yeah I thought that was cool and then I found this. La la la. Llama. Which I thought was pretty cool. Some of these things are for, for friend mail swap. Then I found these. Uh, Halloween. For a Halloween journal I plan to work on. And this one. They had a, a lot of cute, this is upside down, a lot of cute napkins, but I grabbed these two, um, I might go back and get some more, I also grabbed, uh, this sticker, they're, um, it comes with five sticker sheets, the only thing is they're all the same, so I might use one and give the other ones out in brand new or something, because I don't think I need all of them. Um, then I found um, these. Be a unicorn in a field of horses. And uh, be wild, be crazy, be you on the opposite side. It's double sided. And I grabbed two because one is for me and one is for friend mail. Pretty cool. And then I found um, canvas. They had a whole bunch of canvas. So I grabbed a couple of each of the sizes. And uh, this is the, the stapled one. And then these are the three piece, the four by six. I grabbed two packs also, but they're just the the panel, like in a chipboard, glued to a chipboard. And then I found the, the two piece in the five and seven inches. So I grabbed two and they're also in the glued to the panel. And then I found the six by eight in the stretch canvas, which is the stapled back. 
and I grab two of those. So you see uh, mixed media in my future. And then um, I found uh, these, and these are only a one piece. And actually, I found these first, and these uh, I should grab more. They're the eight by ten, and they're also just the, on the on the what do you call that? On the like chipboard, glued on the chipboard. Then I found these uh, refrigerator magnets, but I'm not going to use them as such. But this is the scarecrow, and it comes with the parts. See, and then you build it. It's kind of cool. I think my grandson will enjoy that. But I have other plans for it. And then I found this one. Um, again, it's refrigerator magnets. Then I also found uh, these. I don't know if I had showed them. I hauled them before. I found they had a whole bunch of them. I think I grabbed like six, but I already used the other four. And then I was thrilled when I found these. They're puzzles. I love puzzles. And look at that. I grabbed two because one is for friend mail and one is for me. My grandson's excited and we found the other one. The It was the Day of the Dead school. And we grabbed that one for my daughter. Um, she just had a birthday on the 18th so my grandson wanted to give her that for her birthday. Then I found this ribbon in the, in the fall section. I like they had like a dark brown and I think like an olive green and another type of orange but this is the one that I grabbed and I'm working on a pocket litter, a fall pocket litter so I, I went ahead and grabbed it and then I saw these and uh, I think uh, crafting with Liller, um, is that a uh, I think she makes these on her very own, like she buys these and then she decorates the, the little tubes. She fills them with the confetti that she makes herself and then she decorates the tubes. Really cute. So I thought I had a good start and I just would try to shortcut and just do decorate the tubes for a swap that I'm going to work on. I thought that was pretty cool, although my grandson saw it and he wants to pop it already. Then I bought these in the school supplies. They're an APEC, but I already used one uh, to glue paper. And how do you all do it for your paper not to warp when you're gluing? I tried um, wet glue. I tried the glue stick, and it, it warps on me. I hate that. Then I saw this pen, and I remember using these back in the 90s at school, 80s, 90s, and it has a whole bunch of colors. It has 10 colors, so I grabbed it. They had different colors of that, too. Then I grabbed another one of these. I was going to include it in a um, stop, but I couldn't make it fit, so I just kept it. And then I found this cute notebook no problema I thought it was really cute and it's a really chunky notebook I don't know how it looks like it just has that and you flip flip through it I don't even know what the pages look like they look like they're blank sorry I had to open it curiosity they are blank Ta-da! They're pretty thin. But that is pretty cool. It's also for friend man. I already opened it. I pulled it out. Maybe it was like it's like that. And um, I bought these lights. 
also for a project I have in mind. I forgot to buy the batteries, but I think I have some. I use this uh, double A. And then, last but not least, I found uh, I had to buy more tickets because I have like a itty bit. I have like maybe eight left from the from the previous roll, which is 250 in there. I've already gone through it, so that's pretty cool because that means that I got uh, challenge entries. And the other thing I was going to run by you guys is that in my earlier Hobby Lobby haul, I showed that I hauled this for a project. And what I want to do is if you could guess what the project is, I think most of you might be able to guess, then I'll enter you, if you guess in this video, what that project might be, I will enter you in a quick, uh, quick giveaway. And what I'm going to give away is this and I don't know if you guys saw these um, being held at the Dollar Tree a while back for you planners I found the whole set um, I don't know they didn't have a binder I don't know if there was a binder available when they had all this stuff but this is what I grabbed I might include the binder a binder not but a binder um, so here are the flag clips and uh, let's say today big plants this one's just floral and that one's just um, like a triangular kind of diamond shape then I found the post-its then I found the border stickers and then the password pad well, which I heard somebody say it might not be a smart idea to write your passwords. You could write them and keep them in the safe, maybe. And then, like an errand uh, pad. And you could stick it in your binder. I don't know if these are double-sided, but maybe not. Then I found the ruler. The, yeah, it's a ruler. It's pretty. And uh, I found some page flags. I found those page flags. And I found these page flags. And in the back, they're like this. Or I guess these are page flags and these are stickers, technically. But they're, they're for your journals. And then I found the elastic book band. And that says dreams for days dreams is that upside down oh. dreams for days and then I found the tab dividers and then the pocket dividers and then the monthly pages and then the note pages so all of this I will be giving away for $19.99. Just kidding. Um for it's pretty it's very pretty and um if you guys are wondering why I'm giving it away is because uh, I just felt like giving something away. I'm almost done with my challenge and um I don't, uh, I bought a, a unicorn planner and um, it runs till 2019 so I'm not going to be using this next year so I just thought I'd share it out instead. So if you could guess down below in your comments what I'm going to make with this, what project I'm planning on making with this. 
I'll enter you into the challenge. And uh, what's today? Tuesday night. So Saturday morning sometime I'll do the drawing and I'll pick the winner. So thank you for stopping by. Uh, love and blessings to you always. Bye-bye. Back. I forgot to share my book part of my Dollar Tree haul. And um, real quick, I found this. Um, it's a school story, a semi-charming kind of life by Suzanne Selfors. It's an ever after high book. I know it's uh, 14s, but I, I it looked interesting. It looked like a fun, entertaining book. I could read um, a dialysis maybe. Uh, it's very pretty on the inside too. Once I finished reading it, maybe I could turn it into a journal. Then I found this uh, Dear My Blank Secret Letters Never Sent book. And it has a lot of interesting little letters. Like, uh, Dear D, I'm so glad we're not friends anymore. I don't miss you at all. And I feel like myself again from Jay. I don't know. They're just, I started reading through them and I thought they were kind of, Like, gee, I lost my promise ring. Good thing you lost yours, your promise months ago. See? I don't know. A little bitter, maybe? I don't know. It just sounded cool. So, do you, did you ever wish you could warn your younger self away from a toxic relationship? Well, that book. But one of these cool books that I found is this Q&A. 365 questions. Four years. Uh, 1460 sketches for creatives and it's like an art journal for like four years it starts in January so in January I'm going to kind of start doing this like here in January 4th what is a small thing that makes you happy and it has like the year you're going to start then the second third or fourth year and in your square you draw or you write, I guess, you draw, you sketch, whatever, whatever it is that on the fourth, what small thing makes you happy, and the fifth is, where do you wish you were right now? So I thought that'd be kind of fun to kind of do and then see, like, you know, the next year where you were at that previous year. Then I found this real pretty book, and um, I fell in love with it. It's uh, Mark Hampton on decorating, but I was planning on using it. Look at how pretty this is for an altered uh, book junk journal. And then it has like really cool pictures on the inside that I don't know. You could just use them for your for your book. So I don't know. I'm gonna. See what I, and it's a good size. I think it's a. I always do this ruler upside down, like an eight by nine. So you you're like eight by eight. Is there eight by eight size paper? I don't even know. Maybe. Then I found this one, and this is an encyclopedia of me A through C. My Life from A to C, A Guided Journal. And then it has like best day all time. And then I guess this is like for a picture. And then G, genetic, what can I tell you? It's genetic and then treasured gifts. And I guess you just write stuff in here about what may be genetic. Like uh, the way I walk. I don't know. My idea of hell, or hell, my idea of, yeah, letter H, and quiet places I go for some peace, and, and then it says, see also sin when I feel most sin. Places I go for some peace. Peace and quiet. I guess you're supposed to read the sentence first and then add the word to it. Let's see. Let's try it. 
things I'm itching to do. And then there's the J for Jet. Jump for Joy. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. Let's see the back. This is a sticker which peels off really easy, but it's torn because I forgot that I had it squishing this little heart. So it got stuck to my heart. I don't know how I'm going to take it off. Maybe with a little wet brush and just kind of try to rub it off without rubbing off the paint. <sighs> I was going to use this for a project. Anyway, and then I found this book. Look at this chunky monster. And I don't know what this is. I'm not even interested in the book. I'm going to use it for another altar turtle book for Halloween. So I thought that would be fun. So it has some really neat pictures in here. But it's about politics. I hate, I hate politics. So you can look. I like this one. I might save that one. But yeah. Uh, that's all for my books. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.